It's an exciting day. We're at the American Center for Mobility here in Detroit, Michigan, putting the latest microvision solution through a series of tests at highway speeds. Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, or ADAS for short, are gonna be really important for delivering the next wave of safety features that drivers all over the world are gonna expect from modern vehicles. ADAS systems help to anticipate and prevent dangerous situations on the road without the driver needing to intervene on their own. ADAS systems can be powered by any number of different types of sensors. Microvision Solution uses LiDAR, which is based on laser, and it's got a whole bunch of different benefits compared to radar sensors or camera sensors alone. ADAS systems that can anticipate dangerous scenarios in real time will allow OEMs to develop safety features that are faster and more proactive than a human could ever manage to intervene. Let's check out the test vehicle. Using known global positioning technology, we're able to calibrate our testing to high quality ground truth data. Data validated against a globally controlled sensor will be important to OEMs when they receive and review our test results. So in order for an ADAS system to be able to perceive what's happening on the road and allow the driver to uh, take preventative action, it needs to have a really clear picture of everything that's developing. It needs to map out where everything is and the relative speeds and velocities of all the different items in the frame. And LiDAR does this uh, really effectively, more efficiently than camera-based systems and with higher resolution and fidelity than things like radar. It's very good at night. It's very good for um, distances and calculating distances very quickly so that we can combine radar, combine LiDAR together, and be able to control the, the different driving, braking, steering, that type of thing. This vehicle has been equipped with the latest microvision LiDAR system. With this system, the LiDAR is the primary source of data. Radar is used for verification, and camera data is only used for supporting visuals. Here's what the system sees. It's an ultra high resolution point cloud showing drivable and non-drivable areas. The system will be able to see farther, clearer, and react in the blink of an eye, all with fewer overall sensors than other systems. Let's take this out onto the track and see it in action. We're running a number of scenarios that are going to simulate situations that would happen on the highway in the real world. In this scenario, we have a driver who is going into and out of a tunnel. And this is really complicated because when we change from dark to light scenes and light to dark scenes, our eyes take a long time to adjust. And this can uh, cause us to not see vehicles that might be uh, in the tunnel or obstacles that might be in the way. Camera-based systems struggle in these types of environments as well because of how long they take to adjust to the light. Whereas LiDAR systems thrive in the dark and will allow the ADAS system to clearly perceive the road ahead of them irrespective of the lighting condition. Here's what a driver would see when entering the tunnel. And here's what Microvision's LiDAR sees as we approach the tunnel. As we come around the bend in the tunnel, Microvision's LiDAR provides a much more detailed picture of the road ahead. A driver's eyes might struggle to adapt, but the view from Microvision's LiDAR clearly shows an obstacle ahead in the left-hand lane, allowing the ADAS system to take action. Another situation that happens on our highways thousands of times every day. There's an annoying driver who doesn't look in the rear view mirror, maybe doesn't even check their blind spot, and pulls right out in front of us into our lane at a lower speed than we're traveling. To make things even harder, there's an obstacle in the distance in the right-hand lane. In this scenario, the driver has fractions of a second to perceive the situation and to take action. With low latency, Microvision can update the drivable and non-drivable point cloud with speed and accuracy, allowing the vehicle to react faster. Using a dynamic field of view, it visualizes the truck and the encroaching vehicle at near range, as well as the obstacle in the right-hand lane. This is another scenario that most drivers can relate to. You're driving along the highway and there's a vehicle that is coming on an on-ramp and about to merge on in front. So what we're gonna see in this particular scenario is the LiDAR perceiving all of the vehicles that are on the road simultaneously. And what's so critical here is the ability to understand the velocity of all of the vehicles involved in real time and to be able to map out the drivable and non-drivable area on the road so that the car's ADAS system can take the right course of action. We're really pleased by the data we captured today. 
we continue validating our LiDAR features on test scenarios required for high-speed highway pilot ADAS features. This allows for predictive models that will mean faster reaction times. We're excited for what's ahead. There are lots of LiDAR systems that have been shown operating at low speeds, maybe in city driving, but this is the first time that we're seeing LiDAR at highway speeds. By passing along this ultra high resolution point cloud data, together with raw LiDAR and radar data, automakers can develop advanced driver assistance systems that enable faster, more accurate safety features. This was an awesome day. It's just amazing to witness the incredible progress that we're making with our LiDAR system and how Microvision is paving the way for OEMs to create new, high-speed safety features that their customers will want and that will help them differentiate their vehicles. This is only the beginning. We're just getting started. <laughs>